And uh, we talked about the college football rankings. These are the college football playoff rankings. As you know, the top four teams will get into the playoff. And surprisingly, Clemson, the defending champion who started the season number one, were not in the top four despite being undefeated. They are 9-0, and but they are number five. The top four are Penn State at four, Alabama at three, LSU at two, and Ohio State at one. And let me just say this because this doesn't mean by any stretch that the Clemson Tigers are done because they're not. Because as you may know, LSU and Alabama play each other this weekend. Whoever loses that is going to fall below Clemson, assuming Clemson wins. And Ohio State and Penn State will also play later in the season. And one of those teams is going to lose. So this will work itself out, and Clemson still controls its own destiny. They went out, then they'll be in the playoff. But still interesting that they're not in the top four. Yeah, but there's another team that's missing from uh, the college football playoff. From the top four? Yeah. Who's that? And the top 10. And not the top 15. Don't get beside yourself. They're number 14. But it's Michigan. Where's Jim Harbaugh in Michigan? This guy is the greatest college football coach ever. Alyssa, at least that's what he says. He came to Michigan to turn this around. They hired a Michigan man. He was a quarterback for the Wolverines. Oh, my, they got him from the 49ers. Oh, he didn't win a Super Bowl there. But he turned around the 49ers. Jim Harbaugh's all that and two bags of chips. Except that he can't win. He can't beat his rivals. He can't beat Michigan State. He can't beat Ohio State. Look at what's going on at Michigan. Chris. You're going to the big Michigan-Ohio State game? Yes. Right? Thanksgiving, what is that? I'd be looking forward to it much more if uh, Michigan <laughs> wasn't 5-2. and two. If they were 6-1 and one or 7-0. and oh. Right. And you got to admit, sometimes you've watched Michigan games and you've come in here mad and you want a refund from your daughter's tuition. Because you don't want it. You don't want no, it. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but but, but <laughs> my thing is, I agree with you that – Jim Harbaugh has not gotten it done to the degree that we expected. And he's paid like he does. He's He's a very good coach. I thought he did obviously a great job at San Francisco. Uh, And he is paid like it. He's paid like he's a top college coach. I think he's like. He was paid coming off the great job he did with the 49ers. But but the last couple of years have been been disappointing. Yeah, I mean, they were ranked 14th in the final poll last year. They were ranked 10th, 12th his first year after two years of not being ranked at all. And then 10th his second year. That was the first time, Rob, they were in the final top 10 since 2006. So the only point I want to – you're right. You, you, they haven't been able to beat consistently Michigan State. They should be able to do that. They certainly haven't even come close to beating Ohio State. And now you got two teams in the Big Ten who clearly are ahead of him, uh, and, that, and you know, being uh, Ohio State and Penn State. But what I'll say is this: Michigan has never been Ohio State as good a program as Michigan's been. Ohio State's always been a slight notch above, and Penn State. I mean, under Joe Paterno, they were winning more national championships than Michigan. Joe Paterno's long gone, all right? Right, but I'm just saying, like, that's a program that's relative to Michigan State. Like, they're similar type programs. But but I'm just saying. So I'm just saying, like, you're right. Harbaugh hasn't been Nick Saban or Urban Meyer or any of those guys. Remember when those guys came and they turned their programs around, Chris? It didn't take four years. No, he's not. He hasn't done it on those guys' level. I'm just saying. He hasn't been garbage. He's made Michigan relevant again. They're number 14. It ain't good enough. If you're well, a Michigan Michigan's fan, it never, ain't good enough. For Michigan, it is. I mean, they don't win national championships. I know. There. They do Both Bo, Bo Schembeck, who won. they love, never won a national championship. That's my point. But my so point this is, is what Michigan is. They no. won one in 97 it under was Lloyd shared, Carr. That's right. it. And it was a shared national championship. Yep. Mythical. And that was, it was mythical. That's when it was mythical. But my, back but in the my day. point is. That's not what Jim Harbaugh came here for when I say here, Michigan. 
It was to finally turn it around that they went out and got one of their own. This is the guy who who took the San Francisco 49ers to the Super Bowl. Oh, we got one of our own coming home, Chris. He's finally going to write everything. This year, this year coming into the year, they looked at it and said, well, Urban Meyer's out of the way. Ryan Day is a new rookie head coach. It's all lined up for Michigan. And here we are. We turn the page. And I got the history, Chris. I get the I Ohio State. I think you're State. making way too I much out of I think that people the, should be this, up. And the if, coaching change in Ohio State. And if Ryan Day goes to a, a Michigan in the big house and beats them, Chris, what would be your what would be your reaction if Ohio State beats them? They're gonna beat them. They are. You have no doubt. I would doubt be shocked if they look. Here's. I think you're making too much out of the Ryan Day rookie coach. Why? This guy is a good coach, and everything was still laid out for them to be a great team. He's actually made them better offensively. I'm not saying he's a better coach than Urban Meyer, but their offense looks better than it has in and I don't know how long. Justin Fields was there waiting in the wings. So, yeah, you lost Urban Meyer. But remember, they they coached they coached him without Meyer last year when he was suspended, and they did well. So I just think I get it. He's not a big name yet. He will be. But that Ohio State program was like a machine, and I think everybody felt it was going to keep on moving under Ryan Day, I, just I, like it did under Urban I Meyer. wasn't so if sure. If there's going to be a problem, I think it'll be down the road if he can't recruit or something like that. But but Michigan's supposed to be like, everybody wants to play at the big house. All those great helmets. Kids grow up wanting to wear that Michigan uh, helmet and all the other stuff that's supposed to be about Michigan. And Jim Harbaugh was supposed to turn it around. I, I I think it's been a total bust of total Jim bust. total bust, and I you could say they're that they're relevant. relevant. They are. That ain't enough. Not when you're really? paying him the money. He, Why not? He's a pizza delivery man who has not delivered and makes too much dough. That's what Jim Harbaugh is right here, right now. And if I was a Michigan fan, I'd be pissed. Why? Why can't Michigan be in the top four? Why can't they compete for a national championship? They get players from all over the country. They're supposed to be a storied franchise. And then you know what they are? They're not. They're as good as they've, Jim, they've typically been. No, but that's not like good enough. Bo Schimbecker never won a title. I, He's got a, a, a the athletic facilities named after him. A There's a statue out front of it. I mean, I'm just saying. I agree, Rob. I mean... I expected more from her. I thought Harbaugh would have them in the playoffs. This is what I'm saying, Chris. So I get it. I, I guess I'm looking at it as Penn State's in the playoff right picture right now, and Michigan hasn't even sniffed it since Jim Harbaugh got the well, no, Ann Arbor. Penn State, Michigan. I don't know how high they've been ranked, but they have been close. They have. They were ranked second in 2016, his second year there, and they were ranked fourth at one point last year. So they have been in the mix. They've been where Penn State is and then right they now. Went, and then in they the went, mix, and then they went to and Ohio, then they lose. And right. then they went to Ohio State. You remember that yeah. game last year and got, blo- so got blown out? So I'm just saying out. they've been where Penn State is. They had a chance last year. What did they give up, 50-some points? They got shellacked. It, it was, was, it was terrible. It was embarrassing. All I guess I'm looking at it, and, and, and you're going to have to clear this up, what you're saying. I'm looking at it as I agree with you that Harbaugh has not delivered to the extent that we want it. And he is, since he's one of the top five, I think, coaches paid in the country, he's overpaid if you go by that standard. But I wouldn't fire him. That's what I'm – are you saying you would fire him? I think he hasn't lived up to the, to the I mean, contract if you can, and if the I deal. I if I get Urban Meyer. I'm just telling you, <laughs> I don't think he's going to Michigan. But – I just think Jim Harbaugh has not been as advertised, and if I was a Michigan I'll, fan, I'll give you that. I'll be disappointed that that he he what what is his big thing, Chris? He's great with quarterbacks, right? He was a former he quarterback. Been there. You're right. He hasn't been able to recruit a really good quarterback. He's the guy who's supposed to get. He's the one who looked at Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick and said, "Oh no!" Even though Colin, Alex Smith had gotten them to the playoffs and they were doing fine. He was like, no, 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 we're going to make a change with this guy. He's supposed to be that guy. He was with Andrew Luck, right? Yep. At Stanford. This is a, this is the quarterback whisperer. He's supposed to be that guy. And here we are four years later, and it hasn't happened at Michigan. I would be bummed out if I were a Michigan fan. I, I, and, and, I can, and I can agree with all that. But 
All I'm saying is I wouldn't fire him. And I think you're saying the same thing. I would be if if they get, get if they get upset. I, if they get embarrassed at home at the big house against Ohio State and Ryan Day, uh, first uh, as head coach, I would fire. I would be like, dude, this isn't working, and we'd have to do something else. We're paying you top dollar, and we got embarrassed last year when we had a good team, and we went to Ohio State, and then we come to, uh, this year. The Ohio State comes. To our house, we have a chance to beat them and wreck their season. Ohio State is way. Better. No, I know they are, Chris. <laughs> I know. If they hold them with, if they're within forty, it's an accomplishment. You really think it's going to be like that? No, I don't think it's oh. going to be that bad. Um, I'm hoping for a good game, but only I think, because you paid cash money yeah, for tickets. You're right. I, I I paid big money for those tickets. You know what? I got bad news for you. I got bad news. Kawhi's not playing in that game either. <laughs> 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 That'd be like Justin Fields not playing, you know? <laughs> oh, man. But, no, it's – look, I, I don't disagree with most of what you said, Rob. Like I said, I guess I'm looking at it from a standpoint of would I fire him. And the answer, you know, barring just they lose out the rest of this season or something like that, I would keep him, give him a, a – look. I, now I wouldn't ex- – what's his deal? Rob G., you know how many years he's got left? Anybody know how many years he's got left? Did they give him an extension recently? Yeah, they they had uh, giving him some more See, money. See, I wouldn't or be doing any of well, that. But, they, but he's one of their guys. He's a Michigan man. They don't even care. They they just oh yeah, he's I, one look, of ours. I get it. He, I I know you. He you played think for ball. He wore the uniform. I get 2021. all that. Twenty twenty one. He's got he's contracted to the end of twenty twenty one. What's that? Two more years. That's it. Oy vey. I could give him two years, and then move on if he hadn't turned things around. I get it. You you worked in Detroit. You made your name. You know, there, and you became a big shot, and you know Rob Parker, and this, that's where you came up with no way, no how. That's <laughs> where you Parker. came up with all of the acronyms, all that's the I couple, <laughs> all that stuff. I, I get it. You think Michigan is more than it is, but this is what Michigan is. This is what they were under that's Bo Schembechler. And this is what they hired to Jim Harbaugh and paid a million. They were hoping of he could bring them higher, but he can't. This is what they are. They still send a lot of guys to the pros like they always have. Well, that's a shame because they, but they, they, they don't have play. national championships to, to speak for it. Now, your turn to weigh in. Let's start with Mark in Memphis. Mark, you're on with the I couple. Hey, guys. So I grew up in Indianapolis. I grew up with Captain Comeback Jim Harbaugh yep. as my quarterback. So I have fond memories of that. I'm also a diehard Ohio State fan. So. He comes in, and I, I'm with Rob. I think he has not lived up to expectations, but I think he's brought a lot of that flack and uh, controversy on himself considering he's got such big bravado in everything he does. He talks the talk. He doesn't walk the walk. However, I heard a stat that was like the first, the two coaches before him, Rich Rod and then the other guy, and they only had like Brady one 10 and- win season between them. And he's already got multiple of those. He's got and three. Who else are you, you going to get? See, that's my point, Mark. I, I can't but, sit here and defend, but Mark, that he's lived up to the contract. But you make a good point. He's hey, got three ten win seasons. And hey Mark, here's they a, had one in the previous ten years. Mark, here's the problem, though. They're not beating Ohio State. They're not beating Michigan State, and they're not beating their rivals. That that's what you have to do. You know that you can win ten games. You better beat Michigan State, and you better beat Ohio State a couple of times. They have not. They didn't beat Trestle at all. I mean, well, they didn't look, beat not okay Trestle. Be- uh, I'm okay with him losing to Ohio State every single time. But before that, it wasn't even a relevant game. It wasn't even a big time game. And did now you at see, least it matters. Did you now. see last year? Did you watch it, that game last year? It was only year? big because of the state rivalries, but it wasn't big because of the football. And now at least there's a little intrigue. I mean, granted, the, the Michigan's performances against a few of these teams this year have lessened the game. Believe no me, doubt. I know. Mark, thanks for the call. We appreciate it. What about Nick in Maine? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Yes, I, I completely have to agree with the last caller. I, I just don't know who we're going to get that's better than Jim Harbaugh. So no. that's the reason you keep him in place. You just continue not to. Well, he's also had relative success. Not well, great but, success. But all I'm saying, Nick, relative. when he came to Michigan – that the goal was not that that you would look up one day and you would see the the, the college football poll would come out and two Big Ten schools would be there, not oh, Michigan, not once. Here, here's, I hear you. You know what I'm I, saying? I agree, but 
But with Rich Rodriguez and Brady Hogue, it was just miserable to watch those games and not think anything was ever going to happen. I, I agree. I mean, Rob, l- looking at the rankings, is Georgia, Florida, LSU, any of them considering firing their coach? You no, know, any I, of these teams that are in the top two, I'm, but not, you know, Oregon, I, I get all Utah. That. All I'm saying is, but but they're not paid as handsomely as Jim Okay, he's, he's overpaid. But would, it's you admit, because, would you admit it's that? It's because of what he did at San Francisco. He was in the NFL, okay. successful at the higher level. I But, I yeah, I agree because he's, what, top five? No, he's he a, hasn't. They're he's not a top, top five program. He's top three. He's like the, the third highest paid coach in college okay, football. Okay, and they're not a top three program. Everybody clearly. who's in the top four, Chris, top four, they all won a national championship except for Jim Harbaugh. All right, if you want to say he's overpaid, my thing is, as the callers are saying, I just don't think you fire him. Let him coach out his contract, and maybe you go elsewhere after that, depending on what happens. Let's go to Joseph in Indiana. Joseph, you're on with Chris and Rob. How you guys doing tonight? What's We're up, doing man? great. Oh, yeah, I, I'm the winner from the yesterday's trust card and Tuesday hat. <laughs> hat. Haven't gotten you my address yet. But. All right, well, hang on. Yeah, don't, we, don't give we'll, it on the air. You right, hang on. Uh, well, they'll, they'll get your uh, information after we finish sorry. talking. You got to take. About that. You, got, you got to take on uh, Michigan? Yes. I think, as Colin Calhurt says, Michigan's not that A plus thing, it's more of an A minus. He said Jim Harbaugh, they've never had the Alabama history or the Ohio State history. It's an A plus, it's an A minus program. No, Don't get hurt to the best. That, I agree That's with what that. Chris That's says. And I, but, but, but they went to get Harbaugh to change that. I agree. I, right? I don't disagree with you, If that's you, the Rob. case, leave Brady Hoke in there. I well, mean, Brady Hoke. Brady Joe. You know, that was right. his nickname on the radio in Detroit. <laughs> they were terrible under Brady Thanks. Hoke. Hey, hang on. Joseph, hang on. Please get his, his information. Mike in Let's Iowa. Let's go Mike in Iowa. What's happening, Mike? Hey, uh, on the Jim Harbaugh thing, I'm also an Ohio State fan. There's a very large You're an Ohio group State fan and in a gym, Iowa? Wow. Yeah. So wow. there's a very large group of us that hopes that he signs that lifetime contract <laughs> as soon as possible. Mike, you but, know what I'm there. Wait a minute. Okay. He's being funny. I'm going to say they're better than but, I am. Hey, hey, Mike, you know what I'm talking about, right? Has he not been a disappointment for – he hasn't even given you guys competition. It, it, to me, though, it's not even – I'm look. i uh, like a nerd. So to me, it's not even just the wins and losses and the fact that that rivalry really isn't a rivalry anymore. But every year he's been there, he's started a transfer quarterback. He's never – Recruited somebody and used his own guys. So right. This whole, his, his guys aren't in there yet. It doesn't matter because he doesn't use them. I know that's a big problem, especially for a guy, like I said, who's had the history with quarterbacks and getting guys right. Some yep. of the best quarterbacks he's had. Yep. And his history, Rob, his reputation was, you know, he rubs people the wrong way. After a that while, was a problem especially. in San Francisco where he was wildly successful. Uh, and, you know, is that happening at Michigan? Certainly not happening with the people that pay him. But yeah, it's it's interesting. I, I just I, I don't disagree with a lot of what you said. I'm just saying I don't fire him. I let him coach out his two years, you know, unless something ridiculous happens. Like, like they get embarrassed yeah, or something like, like a five really, win season or something right. like that. So they get embarrassed and then have a bad year next year. You might say, you know what? This just ain't working. Right, right. He Harbaugh actually made a proposal too. Maybe he should be spending more time writing up. What do you think about that? Talk about I, he wanted he, he wanted eleven man, 11 teams. eleven teams in in the playoff, and it's like they still wouldn't be in. And, and, and somebody <laughs> should ask that right question. Now. Did you think about making it fourteen since you're ranked fourteen? <laughs> and then he probably would be mad if I asked that question at a press. You know, question. I would have asked it <laughs> at a press conference. And then they would have been ripping me on the radio on TV locally. No, but he uh, – I actually think it's a good – I do think they need to expand. I mean, let, we don't have to get deep into this, but they need to expand it. It's just as simple as that. And you could just make the bowl games, playoff games. Wouldn't be tough to do at all. All right, we got something special coming your way. Eastern Michigan basketball coach Rob Murphy has a fascinating story, and he'll share it with us next. But first – Let's get to our man Brian Finley for the latest in sports. Brian, what? Hey, it's the Odd Couple. I'm Chris. He is Rob. And we want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. You know, you can listen to us on the radio. And now you can watch us as well. And it's fun. No question about it. And remember, oh, yeah. 